Mr. Vesberg, you're very welcome to Bloomberg. I'm looking at your gross margins. That's the key benchmark for you. They've beat estimates, but they're still under pressure. So what I want to know from you is, are we at the end of margin erosion for you? Can we expect higher margins going forward from here? I think as we start to articulate already in the second quarter last year, we knew that we would get the change mix basically because we have more coverage project and modernization project where we're rolling out much more hardware than, than software. And that mix sort of has prevailed in the first quarter. What we see on these projects is that they will prevail in the short term for a couple of quarters more and uh, some of them even throughout the year. So yes, it's correct that we have another business mix if you compare year over year, but if you compare sequentially, it came up a little bit. So it's more about the business mix. And even though, of course, that our service business is growing with 18% in the first quarter, that is also diluting our gross margin, but not diluting the bottom line. So it's also a technical issue what type of business we're selling at the moment where do you think you can restore those margins to now I think that uh, what we have been working with is of course to gain a market share last year we articulated to the market that we are going for uh, grab market share and so we did our mobile infrastructure market share went from 32 percent to 38 percent in 2011 and of course that came with some modernization work in Europe that uh, were a little bit, uh, in the competitive environment of course lowering down our gross margins over time of course we are working our ways up and we are working with mitigating uh, uh, efforts but uh, we're not guiding for any any new margins etc we are just working long term here and seeing that Ericsson is number one in the industry where we are acting well, when we look at the infrastructure business, it's incredibly important to you. Give me a sense. Is there a pent-up demand for modernization here in Europe that we're not seeing feed through to the numbers yet? No, I think that uh, all the modernization uh, projects that we won during uh, 20, end 2010, 2011, all of them are now in execution. So we don't see any major modernization projects coming up in Europe right now. The main part of them have been decided. The ones that we have won, we are now rolling out. They were already in, in full execution in the fourth quarter and that continued in the first quarter. But they take some time. They are quite complex and quite big projects, these. So they will take some time before they are finished. If we look at ST Ericsson, it's never made money for you. And what I want to know from you is this. What point will you say, actually, we should walk away from this business? And what I really want to know is, how committed are you to giving more money to the ST Ericsson project? Will you continue to add funds? Uh, first of all, uh, we have now done a strategic change in, in SD Ericsson in order to secure that we are improving the profitability or improving or taking the break-even point closer to what, where it's going right now. And I think that's very important. We are going for modems and uh, mod apps, which is where we think we can do a good strategic fit. And we believe in that strategy direction as well. Short term, this will not be changed in the short term. And we are here, we are committed to the ST Ericsson uh, business and uh, we think it's a very relevant player in the market when it comes to modems for smartphones but they are in a transition from feature phones to smartphones and that will take some time so we are there as a part owner mm -hmm. and will continue so tell me this uh, Hans when you talk to other CEOs of major businesses here in Europe what do they want to see to boost the European growth story what's lacking I think that we uh, talking to operators all around the world and of course uh, the ones in Europe as well, we all see that uh, mobile broadband is uh, a great growth opportunity. And the next step of that is, of course, to see that differentiation on the quality of service of mobile broadband will be important in order to bring in uh, revenues for the customers I have. And that will happen, of course, when you start segmenting the market. And that we start seeing right now. And that's also why Ericsson is investing very much in the infrastructure to be able to handle that for different type of users that different needs. And we're investing in the billing system and the operating system that can control that. So I think it's a lot about that happening. Then we need to understand that, uh, as we all see around us, the macroeconomic situation in Europe is, of course, not that stable. So there are a certain cautiousness when it comes to capital investments at the moment. And that's not strange. And that behavior we had in the 
third quarter and the fourth quarter, and we still have it now in, in Europe. But we have not seen a worsening uh, from that point of view in the first quarter. Hans Vassberg, CEO of Ericsson, thanks for your time this afternoon.